Hello, good evening everyone, how are you? I'm here with Dapper Dan. <laughs> so, Avish and I, we're absolutely delighted today to present the, the awards to the next, um, the next person we have in this room, because um, it's a very special moment for me. This particular person and his organisation changed my life. And not only my life, but it's changing the lives of millions of children around the world. And we have got a sign here today. I think our theme today is One Family. And we need that now in our schools, and we need to all believe in that, because that's crucially important. So it's an honor and a pleasure. And I just want to have an experiment, please, if you wouldn't mind. Please, humor me. I am a teacher, after all. Can I have a show of hands? Has there been a teacher who has changed your life today? Please show your hands up. And if you can look around now and see what is around us, because this individual, thank you, hands down now, thank you. <laughs> this individual is changing lives, and I'm so proud and honored to be here today to celebrate this with him. And the question is now, who is it? Let's have a look. The son of Indian teachers who moved to Dubai in 1959, he wasted no time in finding a hole in the market for Indian, British and Pakistani schools dedicated to the Emirates expats. Beginning by taking over our own English school from his parents in 1980, he began the building of his educational empire. Today, he is the executive chairman of GEMS, the largest K-12 schools operator in the world, running over 250 schools. In 2009, he was awarded the Padmi Shri, India's third highest civilian award. And in 2012, he was made a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. Today, he's worth $2.5 billion, with his business touted to be worth $5 billion on the stock market. In 2015, he joined the likes of Bill Gates in the Giving Pledge to donate a full half of his wealth to charity over his lifetime. He is also responsible for the internationally acclaimed Global Teaching Prize, this year's recipient of which was North London's very own Andrea Zafiraku. He's a businessman, philanthropist, and tonight, the Asian Awards Entrepreneur of the Year. Wow, what an amazing man. And most of you have guessed it, the winner is Sunny Varke. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Sunny can't be here this evening, but his son uh, is here to collect the award on his behalf. So, if, Jay, yeah, Jay Varke. Well, he might be more used to giving out the prizes than he is on receiving them, but tonight it's his turn for recognition in honor of both his extraordinary you, business achievements and personal philanthropy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm sorry my father could not be here with us tonight. Um, it is an honor to accept this award on behalf of my father. I would like to thank the Asian Awards Committee for recognizing my father, his achievements, and to all the sponsors who have made this event possible. A special thank you to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai, for creating an economic environment where ideas can flourish, allowing us to be a Dubai-born global brand. Education has been the cornerstone of our family ever since my grandfather, grandparents started teaching in Dubai in 1959. As my father always said, whatever the question, education is the answer. Finally, I would like to thank all the teachers, parents, and students who have supported us for the last 50 years, as we would not be here without their support and trust. Teachers are our backbone, Parents are our strength, and students are our future. This award is a tribute to them. God bless, and have a great evening.